Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're taking a deep dive into the Polestar 2. With its minimalist design, sustainable sense of luxury, and performance that packs a punch, it's no wonder why some five years after introduction, the Polestar 2 remains a popular choice for EV buyers. But does the new facelift for 2024 do enough to keep the Polestar 2 relevant for another four years? Let's dig in, bolt by bolt. I'm a huge fan of understated EVs that are brilliantly engineered. We think of Polestar as an all-electric vehicle manufacturer. However, Polestar is not rooted in EVs. Polestar was born in 1996 out of Flash Engineering, a Swedish motorsport company competing in the Scandinavian Touring Car Championship. The team became Polestar Racing in 2005 and operated as such until being acquired by Volvo in 2015. The brand was later spun out as a standalone brand in 2017. The Polestar 2, introduced in 2019, represents the brand's first mass market EV. For 2024, Polestar announced several new upcoming models, including the Polestar 3 and 4. However, the Polestar 2 received its most significant update to date. The Polestar 2 grabs your attention with its clean, sculpted lines and a sense of understated confidence. It blends elements of a hatchback and sedan for a unique silhouette. The signature Thor's hammer LED headlights and taillights also add a touch of Scandinavian flair, while the frameless door mirrors and sculpted door handles scream aerodynamic efficiency. It's not trying to be loud, but it definitely turns heads with his minimalist elegance. The Polestar 2 comes in six colors, all equally understated, ranging from space to magnesium. However, you can option up with 20-inch performance wheels. New for 2024 is the Polestar's closed-off grille, which the company refers to as its smart zone. A concept introduced by Polestar in late 2020, it is the area where most of the sensors and camera in the front of the vehicle are housed. The Polestar's 2 minimalist sustainable design doesn't just end on the exterior. Before we step inside though, if you're new here and liking the video so far, please give this video a thumbs up below and hit the subscribe button to support the channel. The interior focus of the Polestar 2 is on clean lines, high quality materials, and a spacious feel. The seats come standard with an embossed textile cloth, but can be upgraded to what Polestar refers to as Weave Tech, which is their 100% vegan, leather-like alternative. Looking around the cabin, the panoramic glass floods the interior space with natural light, while the large 11.2-inch central touchscreen and 12.3-inch instrument display dominate the dashboard, controlling everything from navigation to climate. Similar to other EV companies, you can control your Polestar 2 through Polestar's house-developed app, though the app's offerings are a bit limited compared to competitors such as Tesla or Rivian. However, Polestar owners don't need their app to control their cars. All Polestar models come built with Google Assistant built in, meaning you can ask Google to state their car's charge or control your connected smart home on the drive home from work. That drive will be quiet, too. At highway speeds, the Polestar 2 hums along in a mere 69 decibels. That means you can enjoy the music coming from Polestar's Harman Kardon sound system, enveloping you and your passengers in rich sound. Now let's talk about the driving experience. The Polestar 2 has a drag coefficient of 0.27, edging other vehicles such as the Mustang Mach-E, but not as efficient as the Tesla Model Y. Under the hood, the Polestar 2 packs a serious punch. The Polestar 2 offers multiple powertrain configurations, ranging from standard long-range single motor to the beastly dual-motor performance pack. No matter your choice, though, you'll experience instant torque, smooth acceleration, and surprisingly nimble handling. The dual motor performance pack has 455 horsepower and will send you from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.1 seconds. Stick with a long range single motor model though for the longest range with an estimated 320 miles of charge from the 82 kilowatt hour battery pack. The long range single motor still has a respectable 0 to 60 time though in 5.9 seconds. Whether you're carving corners on the back road or cruising effortlessly on the highway, the Pulsar 2 delivers a confident and thrilling ride. Plus, the near silent electric operation adds to its refined, enjoyable driving experience. The Polestar 2 comes with three powertrain options, long-range single motor, long-range dual motor, and long-range dual motor with performance pack. The long-range single motor will run you $49,900, while the more pricier dual motor performance pack will range up to $63,000. Now, if range is a concern, you're going to want to go for the long-range single motor that gets 320 miles on a charge. That is our pick out of the three powertrain options. However, if other features such as semi-autonomous driving matter to you, you'll need to step up to the long-range dual motor trim. These features are part of what Pulsar 2 refers to as their pilot pack, which includes additional features such as LED fog lights with cornering function. So what do you think of the Polestar 2? Did Polestar upgrade this vehicle enough to keep it relevant for the next few years? Let us know what other vehicles you would like us to compare to the Polestar 2 in the comments below. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Interesting learning more about EVs? We think you'll like this video on the Kia EV9 next.